Don't forget to subscribe to Steven C. Killer. Now get back in the grave, gut bag! What's up, guys? Steven C. Killer here, bringing another reaction. Now, this is on going to be on VidMe. The full reaction is going to be there. Link in the description below. I'll plug it a few times before we are done with the discussion. But right now, let's talk about last week's episode and this upcoming episode, what we can expect and what we're thinking is going to happen, and see if I'm right. Um, so we're on episode 116 of Dragon Ball Super. Last week, we got the epic fight between Goku and the fusion female, uh, Kalefa. Kalefa? I don't know exactly how to pronounce it, so I'm just going to call it female fusion. Um, <laughs> so, yes, Kale and Kalefa... Um, Fused to this enormous power rivaling uh, Goku in his god form and then later on his Super Saiyan Blue god form and even further his Kaioken. Now, Goku is still five, six, seven minutes ago recovering from a fight he had five, six, seven minutes ago from Jiren. So his power is still not fully there, but he's still regenerating because of the fact that Saiyan, uh, Super Saiyan God Red Form has a healing factor. So that actually, I think, has to do a big portion in why he's able to activate his Ultra Instinct. At the same time, uh, the Fusion Female um, basically kicked him in the back of the head, sniping his face forward, keeping knocking him somewhat unconscious in the same sense in the first time he used Ultra Instinct I completely believe he was unconscious which is why the phrase is Ultra Instinct his body was reacting on its own while and also other things were that this one I don't think he is completely unconscious he's experienced something similar to it but it's not fully there I'm not ex extremely aware of everything that's going to happen not watch the episode of course because we're going to watch in a few minutes and if you guys want to check out my full reaction it will be on my vidme link in the description below and it will also be probably the pinned comment down below by me so if it works for you guys great i'm sorry i've been getting comments of people saying vidme does not work for them i don't know why um but for right now Reason also why I can't post on on and uh, post it on YouTube and uh, also why I didn't live react stream it and last week's episode is there is an update video on that that is on my channel which I will probably link in the uh, pin comment and description update on more information on that for you guys but right now Toei Animation copyright striked me twice. Got rid of one of the strikes, one of the other ones are still there, but it was on a stream, and so I have to get rid of that one, and once that one's gone, I can stream again. So, super reactions will come back, and live reactions will still be strong once that str uh, strike is gone. <laughs> but I will still be posting a, it mostly on VidMe, because it's safer. Um, so, I'm going to predict, and I think it's about time, Kel and Khalifa get knocked out in their fusion form especially with goku being ultra instinct all right sorry about that uh whole jump right there i actually needed to go get my dog and get her to let her take some medicine i kind of forgot my alarm went off in the background so that's why there was a random jump cut so um if you hear anything in the background she's not with me so she might cough i apologize but she's been having this and it happens every winter for like the last two years she is old. She's about 15 years old, so she's she's getting up there in age. Um, but anyways, we are here. Uh, I forget where I was last off. I think I talked about uh, how Goku is semi-conscious and in a little bit more control of Ultra Instinct. Now this might show that Goku uh, is slowly developing um, developing it. At the same time, what I predict is Khalifa. Uh, not Khalifa, uh, Kel and Khalifa's fusion form is going to either separate and they both be knocked out or they're just going to be knocked out in general. Uh, Jiren might be waking up in this episode. We see his eyes open in the preview from last week 
and I'm just hyped for this episode and um, I'm not going to waste any more. Let's get into this. I'm going to let you guys know this right now. There is no reaction if you're on YouTube. The only way for you to watch this part uh, coming up and uh, spoiler warning because as soon as this is done, it's going to cut to the end uh, for next week's preview and maybe a little bit of clip or something if something major happens. Um, so spoiler warning, if you do not want to get spoiled and you want to watch, watch the full episode, reaction with me, link in the description below, and also pinned comment for the full reaction video on VidMe. <sighs> so let's, uh, let's get into this episode of Dragon Ball Super. I already, oh, wrong button. Um, I already skipped, I'll let you guys know this right now, I skipped the, uh, the whole bullshit uh, this time on Dragon Ball Super where they show you clips. And I also skipped the intro. We're already in the preview. We, we, we already show, uh, I already also skipped like what happened last time. We're just getting right into the, the meat of the ep episode. And of right now, it is going to cut away and we are going to get in spoilers. So last chance for you to click on that, uh, link in, in the description to watch the reaction with me. All right. Damn! Oh my god, that is awesome! Uh, no, I want to go back. I, I, I like the tower power. Like, that that right there. That looks fucking badass. That is awesome! The two different type of auras. Right here and right here. Just skyrocketing, making towers of energy. All we need is Jiren's red in the middle, and there we go. <laughs> Goku and her are using each other. Oh yeah! That stands we all fucking love of Goku's. Oh, what is that? Stare down. Wait! Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. What? Did Goku just do what I think he did? Did he just pull a Jiren move with his eyes? Jiren knowing Ultra Instinct? being more and more confirmed him just dodging is good oh okay oh damn she got fucked up oh this fucking shit is intense like more intense than I was expecting oh we're gonna fucking ultra instant command wave Oh, this is badass! <laughs> this shit is epic as fuck! Ooh. Looks like Goku's about to lose Ultra Instinct, though. After this attack, I don't know if Goku's gonna have that any, uh, for any more time. He needs stamina to recharge. You can't dodge in midair. Oh, this is an epic attack! Oh! Oh! Oh, he's fucking using the command to grind over her blast! Oh! Oh my god! If she's not knocked out of the fucking ring after that, she's knocked out! And the Patora broke! Oh! Alright, here we go. Alright. Okay. Oh, shit. Oh, 17 and 18 are helping... Or fighting those two. They're going after Goku because he's weakened right now. Wait, what's going on? Whoa, 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 whoa. Let, let, let's go back to that one more time. Let's go, let's, okay. So, let's see. Alright, so she is attacking 18, as we can see. Looks like they went after Goku, but Android 17 and 18 stepped in to basically defend Goku from those two. She... Uh, 
let's go back uh, just a little bit. She's gonna get fucked up by 17, I have a feeling. Because no way is she gonna be able to take down 17. 18 on the hand is a little bit of trouble. It looks like. And these three fuckers are just straight up going after Goku, but they're fodder. They're 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 no big deal. They're probably they're 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 no worries, but at the same time Goku is already completely drained in stamina and everything, so they can be troublesome. But someone's gonna probably step in and help as well during that. Now this fight between these two, I'm interested in seeing. And I don't like the fact that 18 looks in trouble. And what the fuck is she doing in that form again? And is she transforming into something else? And why is she in a heart, like, fucking roped up? She looked like she fucking self-destructed. That's a good shot of 18, honestly. Well, well drawn. So. <clears throat> but, overall, this episode was pretty damn badass. I enjoyed it. Um, I hope you guys did too. Now let's discuss. I was right. That was epic as fuck. Um, animation was on point. Um, I think everything was fantastic. Uh, the fight between Goku and Ultra Instinct was amazing. We saw a lot more of it. A lot more of his movements and everything. So it looks cool. We still know Goku hasn't mastered it uh, strength wise and power wise. Um, so there's still more room for growth, but I don't know if he's going to be able to master it fully within 17 minutes of the tournament. That's why I think, uh, depending on, I, I still don't know how this is going to end. Let me know how you guys think this is going to end. By the way, I stay away from spoilers, so no spoilers in the comments if you guys can help it. Um, this is, this is going far. And Cal and Khalifa are finally out of the tournament, and the Namekians are the only ones left. And honestly, I see them as troublesome, but they're not, they, they were giving Gohan and Piccolo the run for the money, but anybody like maybe Vegeta, not so much, unless they do the Mane uh, Namekian fusion with each other. Then they could probably be on par with maybe Vegeta, or close to Vegeta power and ish Goku. Um, but no, I, I, don't, I don't still see them lasting too much longer. So sadly, even though I love that universe, I think universe six is possibly it's between universe six and, um, universe two and universe four. I think those three are one of the, going to be the ones going next because that rat motherfucker only has like, uh, two people left, um, universe two, which is the lovey dove one. Not too many people left. And of course, Universe 6. I don't know who will be the next ones, but it's definitely between those three. And I kind of want the rat guy to go away, but it seems like he has something up his sleeve with his last remaining fighters where he's not worried. <clears throat> and I, st I, I do think it's going to probably be the one with um, the love uh, universe. Because I don't see the Namekians pulling any uh, risky moves while just losing their strongest fighter ever like honestly i would still say hits probably stronger uh than the fusion but uh and also skill wise and fight it fighting experience than the fusion um but they are close second and since hit and her are gone it's not looking too good for universe six so overall i'll have to say this is a high-end episode uh, what do you guys give this episode? I kind of say, I'm, I'm going to have to say, I give it a 7 out of 7 Dragon Balls. Do you guys agree with me? 7 out of 7? Or do you want to give it a different rating? Between 0 and 7 Dragon Balls. 0 being bad, like it was dog shit. 7 being, it was awesome. A very, very well made and enjoyable overall episode of Dragon Ball Super. And, uh... Yeah, I'm hoping to see more out of those characters, especially if there is a uh, arc afterwards that involves uh, Vegeta going to that universe with Goku possibly and meeting other Saiyans. Like, I want to know more. I want more Saiyans in in the overall ser uh, saga. That would be awesome if there's more Saiyans that come towards maybe even universe. Like some of the Saiyans from Universe Seven uh, Six 
can come over to Universe 7, possibly, to train, A.K. Kale, Khalifa, and Kaba. Having more of them being involved in everything, that would be kind of cool. Who knows? Um, but anyways, I'm going to end it off here, guys. If you're watching this on YouTube, don't forget to punch that like button. If you're watching us on VidMe, upvote the video. Uh, subscribe to me on either uh, YouTube or VidMe. Uh, or follow me on VidMe, I mean. Uh, and hit that notification bell. Follow me on Twitter. Everything will be linked in the description below. Check out all my stuff. And until next episode of Dragon Ball Super. Hopefully sometime soon I'll be able to let you guys watch it with me. A.K.A. live stream reaction. But until then. Later guys. Thanks for watching this video everyone. Hope you enjoyed it. And if you want more check out the description below. Hope to see you guys in a later video. Also. Have an awesome day.